hello everyone and welcome to my channel so today we are going to learn how to make paper mache pulp from scratch what i have taken here is two pages of a newspaper and i am going to cut thin strips of this newspaper like so so after cutting all the strips um i will soak the newspaper in water and keep it for 2 days So here are the strips that I have soaked for two days. Now um, I have to make it more finer. So using hands only, I am tearing the newspaper into smaller bits. and uh, i am going to repeat this process until the paper turns into more finer bits so that it becomes uh, like of a muddy texture now it has turned into a mud like form so i am draining the water out you can use a cotton cloth to strain the water out of this paper pulp there should be the water should be completely strained out of this pulp the paper pulp is not ready yet it has to become more finer to work upon it so the next step is i am going to add 2 tablespoon of corn flour starch and 2 tablespoon of white edible oil then we will have to add this fevicol adhesive we are going to add little by little and then mix mixing the uh, mixing it will with the paper pulp so it's time to mix all the ingredients then again i'm adding some more adhesive it's starting to look more like a muddy texture adding some more white adhesive so the trick is when the uh, pulp is ready it will stick and make a round ball like form when you uh, like mix it then you know your pulp is ready to make jewelry or whatever you want to make use for it it has to completely stick and form a round ball
until then you have to keep adding more white adhesive to it I think it is ready. Let's test. So I'm making a round ball with my hands only. And see it has formed a complete round ball. So it's now looking exactly like a mud ball. Now it is ready to make jewelry. I'm mixing some more adhesive to make it more finer. The entire process I'm doing it with my hands only. If you have a mixture for it, you can go with it. So the shapes also I do with my hands. All the shapes I sh uh, show on this channel, I have made it with my hands only. So today you will see some of the shapes. You can use wooden tools, scale etc. I have this rolling pin like a toy like rolling pin small so I use that to flatten out the surface and in between keep adding some water on the surface it makes it more stronger. So I'm adding some water. It increases the strength of this pieces. Let's make some more pieces. So I'm making a bead now. You can make a hole inside the bead in this, this stage only when the pulp is soft. I have used a needle to make this hole. So now I'm making a heart shape. It is pretty much like dealing with the mud.
when you work with mud you have to keep on adding water same here when you are making the shape you have to keep on adding water so the shape is more stronger Now let's make some more shapes. I'm showing you various ways to deal with this paper pulp and how to play with it. Once the mixture is perfectly settled, it's very easy and very very much fun to work with the paper pulp. Now let's make some round beads. So all the shapes are ready. Now I'm going to keep these uh, shapes in direct sunlight for one day now after day one it's still soft but not like yesterday so i can now poke holes in the shapes so that uh, later i can use it as a some jewelry part or beads at this stage i can use a needle and make holes for future purpose I'm doing this after drying it for one day in sun and it's still soft
I'm going to dry it again for two days. Now after two days, these beads are have become really hard and are ready to make the jewelry. So this was a video to show how I make this paper for pulp from scratch and I'm going to use these pieces in later video to make something, some jewelry. They are now completely dried. So thank you for watching.